Hey viewers, <clears throat> welcome back. Been a little while. Um, so I'm working on this case. Uh, uh, let's see, what is it? A 580C industrial tractor. That's basically a backhoe. <coughs> excuse me, backhoe loader without the backhoe. Instead, it's got a. Uh, you'll have to excuse the wind. It's got a three-point on it. This actually has down pressure and tilt. So this box scraper can tilt in either direction. So that'll be nice for when I'm working on my road. It's also got another cylinder right there. And it uh, hooks right here. Mm those holes there and that'll cinch it so that you can rock this thing forward if you want to and like dump it or dig down you know gouge it if you want it also it's supposed to have ripper teeth but I don't have them come up with some eventually bought it with the engine blown so uh, tore it all apart up there. I've already got the lower lower end done. I just did an end frame kit even though I had it out. That was all it needed. I just got the cylinder head back from the machine shop so I can finish assembling that and that cost me about 600 bucks so not too terribly happy about it but still way ahead on the tractor. So I will uh Throw that cylinder head on and uh, keep you posted. Hey guys, here's an update. Uh, let's see, 207 case diesel. Getting the head put on. Um, I got myself a parts washer, used parts washer. Um, Harbor Freight cheapy, but. It's better than nothing. I'm going to make a lot of modifications to it because I don't like having all that solvent sitting in the bottom. So we're going to make it so it pumps from a bottom tank and up and through a filter and a bunch of filter medium and crap like that in the bottom of that pan. Anyway, back to this. I wanted to show this to you guys. If you're building a 188 or 207 case diesel, this bolt right here on the overhead, this is for the rockers rocker anchors there's one bolt that has a hole in it drilled through the center and out the sides it goes in the back if you do not put it in the back your overhead will starve for oil because that's how it gets its oil supply it comes in this hole right here um, is an oil galley so you're getting oil pressure up through that bolt and it comes up into this or through this hole and then it feeds all the way through the hollow rockers and feeds all of your rocker shafts or uh, rocker arms okay the overhead is in um, there, there's an L and an R on the underside of these I should have showed that to you but if you put them backwards they won't line up see they butt against this rock uh, the rocker clamp and if you've got them uh, switched around, then obviously this one will be pointing over here. So, gotta make sure that you do that. Next is injectors. And then I'll start on probably the water pump and work my way on from there. Well, got her all put together. And uh, off of the engine stand. And getting ready to stuff her back in. That torque converter actually has to bolt to the flywheel. You can't you can't stuff her in there and bolt her on. There's absolutely no way. So explaining it's not gonna be very fun. But we're to the point of sticking her back in. Stay tuned. Okay guys, um I've got the engine in, I've got all the injectors and everything set up. 
they're all purged out. It's a low battery, so we'll see what happens. But this is should be a first start, and if uh, I guess if it blows up, you get to see that firsthand. I'm going to hook the truck to it and charge it up with that too. We'll try that. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, I didn't get a uh, first start done on it. Um, it's just been so busy, and I kind of forgot about it. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a cold start here. It's probably I don't know, maybe 40 degrees right now. But uh, at least you'll get to see her crank up from cold.